Businesses in one eastern Carolina city are struggling due to ongoing construction in the downtown area. Mayor Morgan is live now in the studio after speaking to one of those businesses as well as a city spokesperson about what they're doing to help. Hey, good morning, Merritt. Hey, good morning, Jason. If you're traveling through downtown Greenville, the construction on Dickinson Avenue is really hard to miss. One business owner I spoke to says it's been a challenging few months generating business while construction has taken place just outside. They said because of this, they've worked really hard to generate new customers by ramping up their business experience. Construction on Greenville's Dickinson Avenue is continuing to progress while also impacting business owners in the area. The construction uh, definitely slowed down people from coming down here. People, I feel like, follow the path of least resistance. So when you make it really difficult to get down here, it keeps people from coming. The North Carolina Department of Transportation's $21 million Dickinson Avenue project picked back up in March after the original contractor abandoned the site, breaching their contract, according to the DOT. Because of this, the DOT's Dickinson Avenue project and the city of Greenville's build project to improve greenways and sidewalks are happening at the same time, thus causing headaches. But Greenville Public Information Officer Brock Letchworth says the city is stepping up to help. The city created a neighborhood and business services department, which one division of that would be business services, as the name implies. Through that division, we wanted to try to offer various types of resources to help out local businesses. What we noticed was it tied in perfectly with some of the construction that we're seeing in the downtown area. That division offers everything from grants to loans to various types of free programs that provide assistance to businesses. Some examples of some of the things we've done downtown because we recognize the construction is certainly a nuisance for everyone. I mean, there's no denying that. However, it's necessary for our infrastructure and the aesthetic appeal. Though it's been a challenging few months, Ma says they've taken advantage of the struggle. We've been trying to do a lot of promotions uh, with you know, with our beer wall. We have a really unique situation here where you can you can try your own beers at your pace that you like. You never have to wait in line for anything because it's self pour. But we did re just introduce food, which is really exciting. We've got uh, some really exciting things coming, but right now we're doing wings, boneless wings. Uh, we have flatbreads, sandwiches, wraps. Because small businesses are vital to a healthy community. Small business is, is the cornerstone of any community. So supporting small business is really important uh, to support everyone down here, especially with all the construction that's going on. Um, and that said, being a small business, we're able to, you know, get creative and do different things. In addition to the city's efforts and programs, Letchworth also says that they are also working to promote business in Greenville through the use of their city social media as well.